Hey everybody, it's Angelita. I'm actually sitting up. Mm, I'm still in the same room. And today was my first day that I didn't have someone to sit here with me all morning. My kids are back at school. Um, I was able to get a little bit of work done. Oh, my lips greasy. Oh, sorry about that. Um... <laughs> So I was on our um, midday motivational call and Tracy Walker, who's an amazing, phenomenal, all the adverbs that describe greatness. She's that kind of a leader. And the things that she shared really inspired me today. So I just wanted to make a quick video about that. You know, some of the things that she explained was that, you know, when a baby is formed, it has a heart like your heart is created first before your brain before your bones and for that process to happen nobody really asks us for our permission and the reason she was sharing that is because she was explaining that it's better to be led by our heart and to not let things talk us out of what we feel in our heart so that was really good and then some of the other things she shared really spoke to me because she was explaining and, and getting us to realize that we were created to live abundantly. And if we're not, we really don't have anybody else to blame but us. And I agree full heartedly. Anything that has not happened for me has been a direct result of me either being around the wrong people doing things for the wrong people, <laughs> having the wrong mindset. <laughs> so it all stems with me. So that being said, after that call, and and because I'm actually here by myself, before the call, I was like, oh my gosh, I'm here by myself. What if I hurt myself? What if I do this? What if I do that? I'm going to starve because I can't get up. That was my mindset. But then after the call, she actually reminded me of who I really am. And I was able to get up. Um, clean myself up. I did slip and I almost and I fell a little bit and I bumped my leg on the um, cabinet in the bathroom and that scared me a little bit and I almost didn't finish but then I heard her again and I was like okay I can do this. It's always amazing to me even you know before when I broke both my ankles and my kneecaps went in half and I broke all the bones in my wrist when a doctor said I would never walk again, I began to learn how to walk in those moments where I was left by myself and there was nobody there. Or I began to scoot to the bottom of the bed and crawl around on my elbows when nobody was there because if I needed something, I was the only person that I could depend on. Now that isn't the situation now. I have tons of love and support and there hasn't been a moment really where I really needed something that I wasn't able to have someone to get it to me. And now, you know, that I'm moving around a little bit more. Pain's probably at about a five and a half, six still. Um, sometimes it feels like the cast is shrinking, but I realize that's probably just my leg swelling. But going back to what I said, I just know that it's totally up to me. So, probably this is the longest video. I started off with these really greasy lips. <laughs> uh, but, um, just wanted to shoot a video to share with you. Something positive, something pro. We're pursuing healing over here. And I can't wait to share some other things that will be coming. So, make sure you connect with me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And keep checking back with me for updates. I appreciate you all. See you on the next video.